Welcome to the live streaming of the Holy Mass from the Redemptus Media Center. Let us pray for the following intentions during this sacred celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, this morning, let us call upon the name of the Lord. For we are from the Lord, and the Lord is with us. And whenever we mix with God, great things happen. And this morning, I'm here to testify this, that whenever we call on Jesus, he will be there for us and he will work for us. As we partake in this Eucharistic celebration, let us pause for a while and call to mind our sins and our failures. And together say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts, to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by dutifully proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law held in honor by all the people, stood up, and gave orders to put the men outside for a little while. And he said to them, Men of Israel, take care what you are about to do with these men. For before these days, Theodos rose up claiming to be somebody, and a number of men, about four hundred, joined him. He was killed, and all who followed him were dispersed and came to nothing. After him, Judas the Galilean rose up in the days of the census and drew away some of the people after him. He too perished, and all who followed him were scattered. So in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone, for if this plan or this undertaking is of man, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You might even be found opposing God. 
So they took his advice, and when they had called in the apostles, they beat them and charged them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. Then they left the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they did not cease teaching and preaching that the Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, to inquire at His temple. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, to live in the house of the Lord. Kindly rise for the Gospel. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd was following him because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was at hand. Lifting up his eyes then and seeing that a large crowd was coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they for so many? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, about five thousand in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, Gather up the leftover fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered up them up and filled twelve baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign th that he had done, they said, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. Perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, Jesus withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, John's Gospel has seven signs and not miracles. And today's reading when we usually hear it, we say it's a miracle of feeding the 5,000. But it's not a miracle as such. But when we read the Gospel of John, this is one of the signs 
the gospel text begins with this it is a sign and a sign is a greater reality pointing towards something greater and what's the greater thing that this gospel passage is pointing to us it's not about the multiplication of the bread and the fish but it is about our lord jesus who is the greatest this is the person of jesus the lord the divine master who is now revealing himself to his people and john in this gospel is is leading us to see jesus as the new moses like moses went up the mountain and he got them the 10 commandments jesus today goes up the mountain to teach his people but he goes along with people moses does something divine with the help of god the red sea is parted today jesus himself is god and he feeds the 5000 a miracle people grumble against moses in the wilderness they will now grumble against jesus when we will hear him say that i am the bread of life that came down from heaven my dear people john wants us to see jesus as the prophet the new moses and that is what the the word of god today ends with when people recognize him that this is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world this is the sign today if jesus is the sign the new moses the new prophet our lord and master he wants to work with us yes he fed the 5000 but he needed andrew and philip he needs you and me might be to feed the hungry or might be to feed someone who is all alone or might be to bring a smile on someone's face today might be your own self who are locked down or nailed to our beds who can't go home to some or the other reason there's this song we sing in the church great things happen when god mixes with us you see when moses and god mixed the red sea departed when david and god mixed they defeated goliath jesus mixed with andrew and philip fed the 5000 what will happen when you and i mix with god the onus is on us that we place our trust in the sign to the greater reality that is jesus amen Pray my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion Lord we pray the offerings of your family 
that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord Amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord Let us give thanks to the Lord our God It is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O Lord but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is a ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which would be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again. therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and Peter our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god and saint joseph his spouse and with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, today we had another new face celebrating this Holy Eucharist and breaking the world and bread for us. And this is Father Cherry from the Vice Province of Magella at present he is a parish priest in our Redemptorist parish at Naigao. Dear Father we welcome you and thank you for celebrating this Mass uh, for us. Dear friends as we already announced on Sunday uh, we have meet greet and share in Mumbai uh, that is in Chembur and the details are already given those of you who have not yet 
uh, informed about your arrivals kindly call to the whatsapp number or send the message about your participation so that we will know how many of you are partaking in this uh, meet greet and share and we can prepare accordingly it will be a wonderful opportunity for us to come over there and meet you in person and to spend some moments with you all tomorrow being the saturday we have the novena to mother of perpetual help those of you who have your prayer intentions and also thanksgivings kindly send them before 12 noon dear friends every third monday of the month we have the marriage encounter anniversary mass those of you who are celebrating your wedding anniversaries this month kindly send in your details and there will be a special mass on third monday of the month at 5 pm this month we also have uh, the priests those who are celebrating their anniversaries the ordination anniversaries joining in this marriage encounter anniversary mass it will be a wonderful moment where you exchange your marital vows once again renew that and also live in that happiness forever kindly those of you who are celebrating and those whom you know refer to them so that they can experience this wonderful moment for the final blessings The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.